I just recently bought an 01 Dodge 2500 with 130,000 miles, four wheel drive, real nice little truck. Got some dents and dings, you know, it was previously a farm truck. Before, it got turned into a 700 horsepower beast and still a VP truck. So, needless to say, there's not many VPs pushing that kind of power. And it was a deal I couldn't refuse. I've known this truck for the past 12, 13 years. I know the mechanic that built it. Does great quality work. The truck doesn't need anything except for a detail. And by detail, I mean it needs washed clay, buffed, and somebody to really show it some love. I can handle I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I do this stuff all the time. But it's turned into a little bit of a project, more than I thought it would be, because as I go along, I want to do this and do that. But, I mean, it's it's one of those things that I, I take my time with them. I buy quality vehicles, mainly diesels that I know that I have no issues with, and I want to make them special for the next owner. So follow me along as I make this one special. First thing that had to go was if it ain't smoking, it's broken. Yeah, I ain't dealing with that old school stuff no more. So, 3M racer wheel, got rid of it in no time. Next, I just did a basic wash. Just hit it with the pressure washer. Just try to loosen everything up. You know, let me just go over it real well. Get all that loose dirt out of there. Lord only knows the last time it was washed. Hit every spot. Then I hit it with the foam can of little Kimball guys. Use whatever soap you want. I like the foam cannon, looks neat. I'm just trying to be cool like everyone else. After I give it a good hand wash, time to pull the headlights. Being a typical Dodge, you know the dash is busted. So I got on Amazon, ordered a dash. It'll be here soon. We'll get that put in. And we got to start pulling window tint off because everyone loves purple window tint. And my favorite though is the pop that exploded on the ceiling. So I need to get the extractor out, pull that out. Plenty of work left to do, but the after video on this truck is going to be amazing. So I used 3D1 compound with a Eurofiber 5050 pad. As you can tell, the results are phenomenal on this. It's just a one step buff. As you can tell, it turned out great. No complaints for me at all for being an 01. I mean, look at the quality on that paint. You can't beat that. Stay tuned for more.